down in a sense. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is a huge stage, you know, as we're kind of re rebuilding back to like potential offline terms returning, right? Uh, so I'm excited mm -hmm. to see this one. You mentioned he's a Jaguar main, right? Or is it only King? Yeah. He uses King and Armor King, but, you know, recently he's been playing Noctis. So he might pull out the Noctis here, and if it doesn't work, he's probably going to go for the Armor King. Yeah, and AK, of course, we've seen time and time again. But look at this. Okay, Toyo, never mind. What the fuck, Rob? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. And never AK mind. with we the shit heat. Take into account. Yeah. You know, when you're trying to win, you're trying to win. Uh, damn. All right, Tomoriro, let's see what you got here. With the Fakum Rob. Mm hm. AK with the Shaheen classic. You know, classic AK. You, you, hear, you hear AK's name, you already associate him with the Shaheen. So let's see how effective this is here in this infinite stage, also. So a lot of movement gonna, gonna happen in this game. Oh. He is trying to break those Fakum Rob legs early. Taking his time right now, breaking his legs. And we talked about AK being persistent with whatever move he decides to go with. And right now, he's breaking the leg, and there's the low parry. Uh huh. Tomoriru follows up with the combo. AK put outside of rage. This is really good for Tomoriru, but instant wall standing three. Weird stuff coming from Tomoriru also. Gotta watch for rage drive here. Running three, and Tomoriru gets the first round in the set. No, no convert. He didn't try to convert. I think he could have got him there. Yeah, unfortunate. AK follows up the combo. Full damage. Tomoriro almost at half health. He tried to go for the slide there. You saw that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yo, jet kick. Man, unfortunate trade there for Tomoriro. Again. Trying to open him up with the lows this time, but AK is also doing the same. But the timing is there for the launcher, and AK finishes him off one round apiece. Yeah, that was a really good call out on the down for two because he had such a big life lead that Tomoriro had to come in, right? So he's just waiting for the timing on that down for two because he's like, You're gonna run into something eventually, and it's gonna be this launcher. Trade. Okay. Oh, follow up by AK forward four. Tomoriru in big trouble. Gets hit by the orbital. And he killed with his combo. I don't think so, though. What the? Okay, rage mode, Fakum Rom. The same situation, right? He's got the life lead. Tomoriru can risk getting hit by a getup kick. Left AK off the ground. The timing yep. from AK down three as soon as Tomoriro tried to approach, but the thunder kick, Tomoriro catches him again. Gets the full combo in. Bomb! Oh my goodness! Break it! Right, oh my God, AK, Tomorito please! Looking really good. The down four is done for. The down the four, oh my God. not blocking them. Tomorero, one of these days, you gotta block them. It's all adding up. Good punishment. He's by gonna AK. do it again. Do it again. He's gonna do it again. One Get that out of here. Rage drive is gonna stop him in his tracks. Tomorero takes it to a final round. Yo, AK's a nut. Down four two for the keep out this time. Oh my God. All right, I've been talking a lot of trash about Shaheen, but AK made me want to play him right there. Break his legs. That's the power of AK. That's AK. The orbital. He again. AK catches him off guard. Tomoriro, is he done for here in this one? No. One more hit can do it. Is he gonna low? Is he gonna low? Yes, he will. AK closes it out convincingly, taking it against Tomoriro one to zero. What a jerk! <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> that was fantastic. Uh, AK doing AK things out here, uh, and you know, it was so good, right? Because his timing on the orbital there, after he set up with so many lows, like he's like, no, he's not gonna do anything about these lows until I bring out the orbital. Then he's gonna duck for it. It was just so well played, and you know, when you're AK, you've done this a hundred times to a hundred players. You know, it's just another one in your list. So for everyone else, you're like, he's not gonna do it again. He's not gonna, do it's gonna do it again, and then you start panicking, right? <laughs> now, now, you know, your your mind is all over the place. You don't know which way to look. You don't know which way to block. Uh, it's yeah. looking kind of rough, to be honest. And one of the biggest highlights for AK is also back, way back in Evo Japan, where he got second place. Remember that, right? You were there. Mm -hmm. Evo, oh, Evo yeah. Japan AK, he fought against CBM. He did five slides in a row 
against them and CBM did not block. That's the type of playstyle AK is bringing to the table with us right now and he's still doing it to this day. Yeah, it doesn't matter what character, you know, earlier we were talking about like the Akuma option that he had before, right? Uh, where he was just down for you like nine times in a row. He, he's, he's very persistent with one move and you don't, as a player, when you're going against someone like that, you don't expect it. Even though you've seen him do it time and time again to so many players, you still don't think it's going to happen. He's like, he's, he can't. Like, why would he do it seven times in a row? That makes no sense to me. But sure enough, we get a character switch. We get Armor King this time. Uh, bringing out for Tomo Riru, and of course this character, as we mentioned earlier, a little bit stronger now. We've seen more and more Armor Kings showing up in tournaments. Uh, mm -hmm. AK though with the Shaheen, keeping him on the map. Oh yeah, I, I love that. Uh, I love that Armor King is getting a lot of representation here, especially in the Philippines. That nobody, not a lot of people use him. It's a, uh, you know, just a couple of my friends and not much in top eight tournaments. So this is re this is refreshing to see. Wow, down the wild tap for just out of range that time. Man, okay. did you start breaking those legs? Oh no, oh, you reminded him no. about the slides! You reminded him oh, about the slides! He hurt me. <laughs> I can't believe you heard me. It's the caster's curse. Tomoriru though, the nut punch. We're gonna carry to the wall. There it is. Tomoriru. Wall combo. Full AK. Oki combo doesn't break the giant's wing. He's dead. Oh, face first to the wall downtown. Tomoriru, first round. Fight. Nicely done okay, there. Now, Are we gonna... Yeah, playing a bit more slow this time around. Yeah, it's kind of odd, right? Okay. Yo, break his legs all day. Go back to that. It was working. Oh, and that's why it was Yay. working. He you don't. Know, and that's the seeds that were planted in game one. Okay, again, the slides. Not a single one has been blocked by Tomoriru, but the timing on the launcher again. AK catches him and takes it one round apiece. We've seen this movie before. Exactly, and you know, that's, that's the game plan right now, right? He wants to get him frustrated so that when he has life, he comes running in, and then the down forward two is there for the keep out. You know, prior to that, it's all the low pokes, it's the slides. Uh, to really break his defense. Right now, you can see Tomoriru, he's guessing on everything. Delayed Hoppy wow. punish! Speaking of guessing, AK did guess right there. He blocked the low, and now he's one round away from sending Tomoriru to the loser's bracket. Dude, that down forward two is from downtown! Breaks the last wall here. We're going this way, though. Mm-hmm. Tomoriru showing some signs of life here. AK looking for more slide mix-ups uh, mix in. Tomoriru playing a bit more safely this time. Gotta be careful about that launcher though. The DF2, good break on the Shining Wizard. Yeah, that's a great point. He really has to stay away from this. And not get caught by a down for two when he's trying to get some offense start himself. Rage mode for AK. Rage drive, of course. Good patience there by Tomoriru there. AK tried to use yeah. a delay to bait him into it, but no go. Final round, game two. Tomoriru not out of it yet. On, Giant swing of multi throw on, could be huge. On point with punish from Tomoriru there, so you know his head is still in the game. No duck on the second hit, but AK continuing the aggression. That's the first slide, and that's the first slide that he blocked this entire set. Tomoriru right now working on getting it to a game three. What's he gonna do? Giant swing the wall could kill here. Oh, good tech! Got him! Oh. Handspring! Tomoriru on the board, showing some signs of life. I love it. Tomoriru adjusting perfectly well. Now, AK is very comfortable with the stage. This is nor this is normally his go-to stage whenever he loses a match, right? The Howard S stage. So we might go for an instant gotcha. rematch here, or... He might go for the geometric plane, which we've been seeing quite a lot in the recent tournament that we've had here. Interesting. You know, I, I really like the Armor King play that's coming out of Tomoriru so far. Uh, obviously, the biggest question mark here is, you know, those seeds that were planted by AK in the first game with the lows repeatedly, you know, breaking his legs, mixing him up with the slides now in game two. You know, where is the defense going to be in game three? Uh, and when you play mm -hmm. this game that AK is playing, it gets a little risky, right? Because, you know, 
these things are very punishable on block if you can guess correctly. So AK is really counting on these things to pay off. Uh, but, you know, if Tomorito's defense holds up here uh, and he's blocking standing for the majority of the time here, it's going to be like a lot easier for him. But that being said, that's the whole mind game, right? Like it's mm -hmm. easier to stand and guard and take all the lows. But against AK, you know he's willing to do 10 lows in a row. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's a very interesting mind game. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm, I'm very curious. And obviously, we saw the one giant swing worked out with Tomo Ryu earlier. Uh, it's something he tried to go back to again. AK was ready for the breaks the second time. I would love to see, you know, some of those command throws, the multi throws that Armor King has come into play. Oh, yeah. Boys and girls, no mix up, mix up is a real thing. You gotta be careful mm -hmm. when you're fighting AK because he will do the same thing over and over again until you eventually manage to like block one or two of those. So again, we're sticking with the Howard Estate stage. This is AK's comfort pick. But let's see if Tomoriro can close this one out against, you know, the yeah, guy, the star yeah, of the entire, uh, this entire country, AK. Exactly, this is the time to get your name on the map. Low parry from AK. It's been primarily all offense, right? And keep out there the key charge you were talking about it, yeah. Get into the wall and key charge for the mix. Oh, Tomoriro, big whip, gets the wall splat in. He's gonna get the wall break also. Unfortunate stuff for Whoa, Tomoriro, but no, no, he didn't. He misses the second hit of the Scorpion Kings. Rage mode, last pixel. Just a little short, a little desperate there with the grab attempt. Uh, didn't even get the full shining. AK first round. Yeah, for sure. Here we go. Down four. That's only the first one. Tomoriru. Is he gonna block those? AK is looking for more mm. orbital heals. There it is again. Three. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he canceled. Okay, okay. AK ready for it defensively as well. Slides are coming. That's number I don't oh, think so. Oh my goodness. Tomoriru's been conditioned to hell by AK. The slides and then goes for the big mid AK. Super good conditioning here. Block the slide this time. Here comes Tomoriru. Small combo off that slide. He needs to block eight slides to win that round. That's not going to happen. <laughs> going to get carried to the wall. Key charge set up. Key yes, charge there again. It is. is he going to go? Whoa. Ooh. AK has him up against Finishes the wall. Finishes the spin on delay. Presses on the second hit and gets the Damn. block in into the delayed hop kick. AK with the show mode. Takes it against Tomoriru 2 to 1, sending him to the loser's bracket. Rip, what I tell you? What I tell you, man? Did you tell me? I, don't, I, I expected that to happen all along. What were you telling me? <laughs> um, AK, he's AK. He's the star of the Philippines. He's moving into the winner's final. Top three guarantee. Congratulations, AK. Tomoriru, though, uh, he looked pretty good there, right? Obviously, the conditioning came into play. You're spot on about that as well. Uh, you know, and Tomoriru. Unfortunately, does have to go down to that loser bracket, that shark-infested loser bracket, of course, waiting for the winner between RGN and Sidestep Lance. Uh, we also got T-Rex down in the loser bracket. We saw him lose to Jules earlier. He's He is waiting for the winner between Coffee Prince and Maru. Uh, so lots of crazy action still to come here. We're just getting started. Uh, but we do have our winner's final squared away, at least later tonight. It will be Omega's Jules versus PBE's AK. Ooh, such an exciting match to see. Everybody's been seeing this, you know, matchup over and over again. And quite frankly, they don't get tired of it. They always would love to see this kind of matchup. Jules versus AK in the oh, winner's yes. final. And this isn't even grand I finals. Thought you losers My goodness. Uh, I mean, we <laughs> might get it for grand finals too, right? We'll see how we'll see how this loser bracket plays out. This is gonna be a good one. Uh AK Shaheen, definitely very fun to watch. Uh, you know. Some of my friends have been trying to get me to play Shaheen. Uh, and <laughs> Shaheen, to me, is just so boring. But watching AK play him right now, I got to say, it's, it's a little bit more interesting, you know. But I feel like...